We're going to move on to the Sunday Telegraph now. <laughs> Stonewall back in the news again. What for, Diane? <laughs> Um, uh, eroding the gender pay gap. Okay. So, um, in, and this is within. That's a good monitoring. thing, isn't it? We don't like the gender pay gap, right? <laughs> well, technically we don't, but they're eroding the um, numbers that report on it. So, what Stonewall have done is they've said, right, okay, um, when you ask people, when you do your census, yeah. you don't just do your sex, you do it gender based questions. So, you say, do you identify as a man, woman, non binary, other, prefer not to say? So, yeah. Because of that, it means that people aren't going on their sex, which means that suddenly the, the, the women, the reporting on what actually is a woman, because there's no such thing as a woman now. Because so, in other words, a lot of men who have earned a lot more money traditionally now identifying as women, that changes the stats. Is it that what you're saying? It could change the stats. I mean, I don't know how many people... Dan, I know you're eager to, to talk about I'm, this. Do you know what? I'm, I feel confused about my own gender after these last two... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I haven't got a clue what's going on. It's, in fact, someone tweeted last week after the show that my lack of a proper education is showing on this show. And I've really That's feel, harsh. Uh, yeah, it was, and I feel it right now. <laughs> I'm <only> joking, but <laughs> I think, this, in simple terms to me, how are you meant to see if there's um, a, a, a gender pay gap if you can't work out what someone's gender is? Well, that's it. That's, that's the issue. Boom. So there are... <laughs> there we go, you nailed it. But... I mean, but the thing is, Diane, right, so with the gender pay gap issue, though, however, you know, mm. we, you know, in this country it is illegal to pay women less money for the same work as men. That's already it's been illegal for 50 years. Yes. So, uh, you know, a lot of the debates around the gender pay gap I find a bit confusing anyway. And then when you add into that that you don't know if the stats are actually talking about men or women or non-binary... That, you know, this whole thing's a big mess. It, well, you mess. could say it's a big mess, but, um, I mean, the gender pay gap in the UK is um, almost 15%, according to the Office of National Statistics, OK? So there's still 15% mainly difference. But you, the thing you have to look at is, well, uh, does that mean that women are doing lower-paid jobs? Is it yeah. because a lot of them are in childcare? There's a lot of different things happening there. Well, women tend to take part-time jobs more than men do as well, yeah. which is factored in. Yeah. So, uh, but something to do with this Stonewall thing is that they actually give people, like, a tick to say we're one of the top employers mm. of Stonewall and that's what people are trying to achieve by filling in this thing. Oh, it's thing. a total right. racket. But my question is, how valuable is a Stonewall tick at the moment? Because they've lost Ofsted, they've yeah. lost the BBC, they've yeah. lost quite a few things because of their behaviour in this Stonewall matter. Stonewall basically say, give us lots of money and if you give us money and follow our rules, we'll put you up high up on our rankings... But do you want to follow their rules? No. Yeah. It's a racket. So there we anyway. Go.